An awakened imagination works with a purpose. It creates and conserves the desirable and transforms or destroys the undesirable. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and observe the route that your attention follows. Stop trying to change the world since it's only the mirror. Man's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. The reflection then will be satisfactory. Nothing comes from without. All things come from within, from the subconscious. Dare to believe in the reality of your assumption and watch the world play its part relative to its fulfillment. If a man looks upon any other man and estimates that man as less than himself, then he is stealing from the other. He is stealing the other's birthright, that of equality. For life makes no mistakes and always gives man that which man first gives himself. Man moves in a world that is nothing more or less than his consciousness objectified. I will be is a confession that I am not. The Father's will is always I am until you realize that you are the Father. Your will is always I will be. If you judge after appearances, you will continue to be enslaved by the evidence of your senses. Consciousness is the one and only reality, not figuratively, but actually. This reality may, for the sake of clarity, be likened unto a stream which is divided into two parts, the conscious and the subconscious. In order to intelligently operate the law of consciousness, it is necessary to understand the relationship between the conscious and the subconscious. Imagination and faith are the secrets of creation. Sleep conceals the creative act while the objective world reveals it. In sleep, man impresses the subconscious with his conception of himself. With your desire defined, quietly go within and shut the door behind you. Lose yourself in your desire. Feel yourself to be one with it. Only as one is willing to give up his present limitations and identity can he become that which he desires to be. Do not waste one moment in regret, for to think feelingly of the mistakes of the past is to reinfect yourself. All conceptions are limitations of the conceiver. To reach a higher level of being, you must assume a higher concept of yourself. To desire a state is to have it. To be conscious of being poor while praying for riches is to be rewarded with that which you are conscious of being, namely poverty. Prayers to be successful must be claimed and appropriated. 
assume the positive consciousness of the thing desired. You are already that which you want to be, and your refusal to believe it is the only reason you do not see it. Because of your belief in external things, you think power into them by transferring the power that you are to the external thing. Realize you yourself are the power you have mistakenly given to outer conditions. When you drop your desire in consciousness as a seed, confident that it shall appear in its full-blown potential, you have done all that is expected of you. To be worried or concerned about the manner of their unfoldment is to hold these fertile seeds in a mental grasp and, therefore, to prevent them from really maturing to full harvest. All you can possibly need or desire is already yours. You need no helper to give it to you. It is yours now. Call your desires into being by imagining and feeling your wish fulfilled. Doubt is the only force capable of disturbing the seed or impression. Sensation precedes manifestation and is the foundation upon which all manifestation rests. Be careful of your moods and feelings, for there is an unbroken connection between your feelings and your visible world. Your body is an emotional filter and bears the unmistakable marks of your prevalent emotions. Emotional disturbances, especially suppressed emotions, are the causes of all disease. To feel intensely about a wrong without voicing or expressing that feeling is the beginning of disease. Disease in both body and environment. Do not entertain the feeling of regret or failure for frustration or detachment from your objective results in disease. You must be in the consciousness of being or having that which you want to be or to have before you drop off to sleep. Once asleep, Man has no freedom of choice. His entire slumber is dominated by his last waking concept of self. Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. You do not fight against your problem your problem will only live as long as you are conscious of it. Take your attention away from your problem and the multitude of reasons why you cannot achieve your ideal. Concentrate your attention entirely upon the thing desired. I am, your true self, is not interested in man's opinion. All its interest lies in your conviction of yourself. What do you say of the I am within you? Love is not love if there is no beloved. To attempt to change circumstances before I change my own imaginal activity is to struggle against the very nature of my own being. For my own 
imaginal activity is animating my world. It is imagination which makes one a leader, while the lack of it makes one a follower. Prayer is the art of assuming the feeling of being and having that which you want. Change your conception of yourself and you will automatically change the world in which you live. There is nothing wrong with our desire to transcend our present state. There would be no progress in this world were it not for man's dissatisfaction with himself. It is natural for us to seek a more beautiful personal life. It is right that we wish for greater understanding, greater health, greater security. To be transformed, the whole basis of your thoughts must change. But your thoughts cannot change unless you have new ideas, for you think from your ideas. All transformation begins with an intense, burning desire to be transformed. The first step in the renewing of the mind is desire. Change your conception of yourself and you will automatically change the world in which you live. Do not try to change people. They are only messengers telling you who you are. Revalue yourself and they will confirm the change. You must want to be different before you can begin to change yourself. Then you must make your future dream a present fact. You do this by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Ideas are impressed on the subconscious through the medium of feeling. No idea can be impressed on the subconscious until it is felt. But once felt, be it good, bad or indifferent, it must be expressed. Feeling is the one and only medium through which ideas are conveyed to the subconscious. Therefore, the man who does not control his feelings may easily impress the subconscious with undesirable states. Controlling of feeling does not mean restraint or suppression of your feeling, but rather the disciplining of self to imagine and entertain only such feelings that contribute to your happiness. Control of your feelings is all important to a full and happy life. Instead of fighting against the evidence of the senses, you claim yourself to be that which you desire to be. As your attention is placed on this claim, the doors of the senses automatically close against your former master, that which you were conscious of being. Your consciousness is the only living reality, the eternal head of creation. Signs follow, they do not proceed. Claim it. It will respond. 